Minimum spanning tree. It is a mouthful to say, but it's actually a pretty cool concept. So what it is, it's a visual representation of a system that contains nodes and vertices. So the nodes would be the circles, and the vertices are the branches that go between the different nodes. Each vertice is weighed, so it has a, a number associated with it. And as we connect each node, we're keeping in mind the cost. So like, let's say that these nodes represented different cities you wanted to travel to, then the cost for each vertice, these numbers, might represent the miles between each city. Or let's say you are going to you know, wire your house with electricity, then going from A to B, if this is a cement wall, is going to have a higher cost than maybe going to through drywall, which might have a lower cost, like between E and F. So however you determine the costs, and you won't have to, they'll be given to you in today's assignment, but those are the types of things we would consider. A minimum spanning tree is the one where all of the nodes are connected with the smallest cost. So each node has to be connected somehow to each other, but we did it in a manner in which all of these numbers, if we added them up, would be less than any other combination. All right, so here is an example of our spanning tree, and we're going to solve it for the lowest cost. Now, we're going to use something called Prim's algorithm, and it's known as a greedy algorithm. Basically, you just keep taking the smallest cost available. So we start with A, and we have a 2, 5, and an 8. So clearly 2 is the smallest, so we're going to choose that one. And so now we've connected A and E. So from here, ooh, we got a lot of choices. But the 2 over here, this is our smallest, so we're going to go there. And so now we've connected B. And so we continue with this. So we could go back to E. That's not really helpful. So we'll move forward to C at a cost of 2. Now we've got, we could come back, but that's not helpful because we'd have to go 2, 2, 3 instead of just doing 1, 3. So we'll do a 3 there. So we could do 13 or 3. So we'll choose the 3. Now from here, we only have to connect F. We could choose 6 here or we could choose 8 here or 13 here. So 6 is the smallest of them. And so now we have our tree. And I've kind of minimized the other so we can see that. And if we add it up, our value for this, our cost for this is 18. Because we just take the 2 plus the 2 plus the 2 plus the 3 plus the 3 plus the 6. So 18 is the value of this minimum spanning tree. So just to review, when might you use this, right? So this example here, we have like a sales route. Somebody's got to hit all of these different places. Well, we know the miles between them. We could make a minimum spanning tree so the miles driven is the least. Or setting up electrical outlets or network cables. These are the types of things where you would see this.